there is a prevailing sense amongst Yemenis that the situation is on a rapid downward spiral. Many are also concerned that the conflict is taking on worrying sectarian tones and deepening north-south divisions. On Wednesday, Jamal Ben Omar, the UN Special Envoy to Yemen, resigned. The UN statement said Ben Omar had expressed interest in moving on to another assignment. Since his appointment in 2011, the veteran Moroccan diplomat had been set on achieving a political solution to the worsening conflict in the country and avoiding any violent escalations. In the end, it didn't work, and now Yemen is sinking deeper into a war between Houthi rebels and a Saudi-led coalition intent on riding the country's government by force. There were prospects you know, for peace, and then uh, now this transition is in disarray. The country is in a state of civil war. Um, uh, there is a lot of havoc and chaos. Since then, Benamar's attempts at reaching a diplomatic solution to end the fighting have come under criticism by both the Saudis and the exiled U.S.-backed president, Ahmed Rabo Mansour Hadi, who, according to the New York Times, told the U.N. he would no longer take part in talks mediated by Benamar. Benamar's resignation underscores the increasingly dire situation in Yemen as the country faces a looming humanitarian crisis. According to the World Health Organization, at least 650 people have died since the conflict escalated in mid-March, and cities are facing shortages of much-needed supplies such as water, food, fuel, and medical supplies. Multiple reports suggest Mauritania's Ismail Oud Sheikh Ahmed, who currently serves as a special envoy for the UN's Ebola response, may replace Benamar as the new special envoy for Yemen. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.